Uh, every once in a while, I like to talk to somebody and, you know, get things off my chest. Hello there. Elvis? Yeah, hello. How are you? Oh, boy, this is really wonderful, Elvis. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and I want to thank you for coming up and to, uh, to invite me to call you. Elvis, they, they've given me some questions here to ask you, and I know you don't have a lot of time. When is your birthday, Elvis? Uh, the 8th of January. Happy birthday next January. Uh, actually, I, I wish I was 16 years old again. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. I'd give anything about it. But uh, 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 all through high school, well, I always had sideburns and then long hair, you know. Uh -huh. uh, not to be, you know, different from anybody, but it's just that I always, I always wanted to have hair to comb, you know. So when it, everybody to their own taste. Everybody is uh, allowed to like what they like. Some people like crew cuts, some like long hair, and different things, you know. But me, I always thought I looked... Uh, uh, a little more mature or something. I, I mean, I must have been nuts. But <laughs> anyway, I got stuck with it, and I can't, I can't get rid of it right now. You always do tell the truth. And yeah. in any interviews or anything, you're always very frank and honest. And that's one reason that the fans like you, uh, not only because of your music, but uh, because of the way you talk and your own personality. Well, thank you. Uh, I, I feel that you have to because... If you lie about something, or if you if you fake, well, it'll, it'll it'll come back to you. I mean, the truth will come out sooner or later, and, and the only thing you've done is make an idiot out of yourself. So it's best just to come clean from the beginning, you know. What is your favorite song among the songs that you have recorded? The ones that I have recorded? Yes. What is your favorite? Well, I guess I would have to say, uh, "Don't be cruel." If you could have anything in the world, what would it be? Yeah, well, it's it's a it's a it's a logical question. Uh, I suppose the most important thing in a person's life is uh, is happiness. I mean, not worldly things, because she is. I mean, you can have cars, you can have money, you can have a fabulous home, you can have everything. If you're not happy, what have you got? That's right. You know, so I I suppose that if I can just continue to to make other people's uh, life enjoyable and to make my own life happy, well then that's that's all I could expect out of life. They want to put me in a movie real quick. Love Me Tender, the first one, almost finished me off in the business. Uh oh, why? Why? <laughs> well, it almost killed me. I mean, it, it was a it was, it was a rush deal. They they rushed me in the thing just to get my name, mm -hmm. uh, you know, on on the, on the. Uh -huh. So they did, and 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 the picture wasn't all that good of a picture. It was a west. It was an old, old picture. I mean, story-wise, and I shouldn't have been in it from the beginning. And I started trying to act in it. I was, I was, I was trying to act in it. And the minute you start trying to act on the screen, you're dead. Yeah. If you can, if you can play yourself, well, then you're much better off. Like uh, Jimmy Dean played himself. Mm -hmm. Marlon Brando plays himself. Yes. All the top guys in, in, in the business play themselves. They don't try to act. Uh -huh. Well, in Love Me Tender, I couldn't play myself because this character that I was portraying was so far from me till it was it wasn't. Yes, even I fun. noticed that. Because I am about half crazy sometimes. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, uh, I, I get I get things in my mind, and I uh, and uh, you know, I, I start thinking about things, and I get a little confused and a little I'm about half mad. You know, mm -hmm. it's just human nature. Like people get in moods sometimes. You get in moods sometimes where you're very happy. You get in moods where you're very sad, where, you, where everything looks dark and gloomy and it looks like that uh, uh, there's nothing for you in life. I guess everybody feels that way. It's human nature. Nature. Yes, and on that song, uh, Old Shep, that you do, I suppose you were feeling that way while you were singing about Old Shep. Yes, because I, I, I had a dog that, uh, that the same thing happened to. What was your dog's name? Uh, uh, my dog was named Tex, but he had manes, you know, real bad, and I had to kill him. Oh, boy. And uh, you thought about that when you were singing Old Shep all day. Yeah. And uh, I'd like to say something else. Uh, every once in a while, I like, to, I, like to, I like to talk to somebody and, you know, get things off my chest. <laughs> because uh, uh, it's very seldom that uh, I have an opportunity to talk to anybody, you know. Yes, I have. Yeah, because the kind of life I lead, it's, it's, it moves very fast, like I said before, and you don't have much time to sit around, you know. I stay on the move about half the time. Well, uh, buddy, I'm going to have to run as long as I've talked to anybody, but uh, it does you good to talk to people every once in a while. I, I want to I wanna, I wanna thank everybody down there for all the 
all the support and everything you've given me, and I, I hope I can to continue. I hope I can continue to uh, to uh, record good songs and everything that the people want to hear. Because after all, uh, the minute I stop pleasing them, I'm dead. Well, thank you, Elvis, and I, I just hate to say goodbye, but I guess we're going to have to. Well, uh, I, I again, I say I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much, and bye bye. Bye bye, Elvis.